Blessings, brothers and sisters. I hope and pray everybody's doing well. Um, I love you guys so much. I'm praying for all of you. I'm praying for all the brothers and sisters in the whole world. And we are, um, me and other brothers and sisters are really uh, waging war against the kingdom of darkness. And the Lord is with us. And yes, these are terrible times, but they're also amazing times. And um, God chose you to be alive at this, at this time, at this moment in the history of the world. God chose me, God chose you to be here. And don't forget that. God has given us access to everything that we need, everything that we need to endure. But it's whether or not we are going to choose to have the drive, to have the spirit, to have the will to get through to the end. And people run out of will. They, their will diminishes because their hope, their faith diminishes and they lose it. Hope will get you through to the end. But if you do not have faith in the word of God and his promises and have hope, you will not be able to endure to the end. And before I do this video, by the way, Sister Lena, this is... Uh, the t-shirt, one of the t-shirts that you got me. So thank you very much. I love you so much, sister. I, I love you so much. And I'm praying for you, uh, Sister Lena, Brother Donald, Brother Devin, all my bro brother Carl, uh, Sister Brianna, Sister Tara, all you guys. I love you guys so much. But I ask the Lord, as I often do, and this is a scripture that the Lord gave me. And it says, and and he took the twelve and began to tell them what things would happen unto him, saying, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man shall be delivered unto the chief priests and unto the scribes, and they shall condemn him to death, and they shall deliver him to the Gentiles, and they shall mock him and scourge him and spit on him and shall kill him, and on the third day rise again. Amen. And so, you guys, in this video, I wanted to talk about Feast of Trumpets. And I want to, um, I want people to, um, I'm sounding an alarm and a trumpet um, and to let people know that you guys, this is obviously, uh, I don't think anybody's arguing anymore that these are the end times. And you guys, these are very important times. What we choose to do, what we decide to do is going to, affect our eternity and um this feast of trumpets you guys there is going to be i don't know exactly what is going to happen but it is going to be one of the most mighty things that have happened in the spiritual an outpouring of the lord i was praying and asking the lord about this and it is going to be a mighty outpouring of the spirit and um, I just want to go over real quick, you guys, I want to show you some scriptures about trumpets and you are invited. Uh, I, I pray, um, you know, that if the Lord is moving in your heart, that you would respond to this and that you would join us in this Feast of Tabernacles. And I'm going to explain what, what we actually do because we're going to look at, we're going to do what the word of God says. Um, but I pray that you would join us. And then um, nine days later, we have Day of Atonement. And then a few days later after that, then we have um, Feast of Tabernacles. That is an awesome. And this, this Feast of Tabernacle, the last year's Feast of Tabernacles, there was mighty things happening in the spirit, you guys, mighty things. So I hope and pray that you join and we're going to look at the scriptures and what the Lord actually says um, in, in what to do. We're just going to go over these real quick, you guys. Um, so it says, speak unto the children of Israel, saying, in the seventh month, in the first day of the month. Okay, that is, this is the day of Feast of Trumpets, okay? Ye shall have a Sabbath.
that's a holy day, right? A memorial of blowing of trumpets, okay? A holy convocation. Now we're going to go look at other scriptures that talk about trumpets, you guys. And you guys, this is a time, I, I want to make sure that we're, we, we all, are all understanding this. You guys, this is a time, this is the time when all things that are written are to be fulfilled. The word of God, the infallible word of God says that it is easier for the heaven and earth to pass away than for the word of God to not be fulfilled, you guys. The word of God is being fulfilled. It will continue to be fulfilled. And there is a lot of scriptures about trumpets. And you guys, I'm going to tell you, I don't know exactly which ones will be fulfilled, but they are going to be fulfilled you guys okay there's going to be many scriptures that are going to be fulfilled next month the spirit the spirit of the word of god the spirit of god is moving in the earth and the heavens and in the spirit and it will be fulfilled and the spirit is moving and growing in people especially the children of god it says you shall do no servile work there and so we are commanded you guys to not go and, and work for our jobs and and serve this system Okay, but ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. So we are to make an offering made by fire. What is fire? Fire is something that rises, it, it heats up, it's, um, it purifies, right? There's going to be people who are going to be fasting. There's going to be, there's, there's several different things that you can do uh, an offering made by fire, Okay. And we need to pray. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ in agreement with my brothers and sisters that the Lord would reveal to us the most mighty things and how to bring an offering made by fire. In Jesus' name I pray. We pray. Amen. Okay. And it says, and the Lord spake unto Moses saying, okay, also on the 10th day of the seventh month, this is day of atonement. There shall be a day of atonement. It shall be a holy convocation unto you and you shall afflict your souls and offer an offering made by fire. So um, the same thing, except here it says, afflict your souls. And you shall do no work, for it is a day of atonement to make atonement before you, before the Lord. For it is to make an atonement for you before the Lord your God. Now, you guys, when it's this is a time where the Lord, those who honor day of atonement, okay, and keep this as the way that the Lord says here, do you know that all of any of your sins are going to be taken away from you? And if there is going to be a type of rapture or taking up, now, you guys, the rapture is probably going to look much different and, and be way different than people tell you on, on and, and believe and have told on um, all throughout the world, okay? But do you know that if that day that you are uh, cleansed of all of your sin, you are purified, you guys, and also... We're also purified by um, the, the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That takes away our sins as well. But the Lord, listen to what the Lord God said, you guys. Let's listen to what he says, okay? Um, For whatsoever soul it, sh it be that shall not afflict that in that same day, he shall be cut off from among his people. So... Whoever doesn't keep these things, you guys, they're going to be, they're going to be cut off from the promises of God. Okay. And who, whatsoever soul, soul it be that doeth any work in that same, same day, the same soul I shall destroy from among his people. Now look at this, you guys, you shall do no manner of work. It shall be a statute forever throughout your generations in all of your dwellings. So you guys remember the Lord, all the disciples and apostles kept these holy feast days. These are commandments of the Lord. When the Lord says, when our Lord Jesus Christ says, if you love me, keep my commandments. And um, it says that this shall be a statute forever. Not until, not the Lord said nothing about this stops on, um, after Calvary. Okay, so this is forever, okay? And you guys, um, what is happening is one of the reasons, uh, one of the things, the reason why this 
feast of trumpets and and how the children of God are blowing the trumpet for this feast of trumpets and to keep and observe this feast of trumpets is that because the people of God are about to go into a, a war, a war that is coming against them by the king of darkness and the forces of darkness. They're going to be waging war against us in these next, um, however long this is going to be, right? Until the son of perdition is, um, until he's destroyed, until the kingdom is set up. They're going to be, the kingdom of darkness is going to be waging war at us in a way that we've never experienced before. And they're going to try to take our crown. They're going to try to take um, what the Lord has given us and bestowed upon us away from us by getting us to handle all of these circumstances, these trials, tests, and tribulations around us to handle it in a way that contradicts God's will. And, and to get us to handle these things in our flesh, to try to steal what has been given to us. That's the type of war I'm thinking about. Yes, there's going to be literal wars, but that's not, that's not the, the type of wars that I'm talking about right now. So you guys, I just want to encourage you and invite you. And, and now you know in the word of God what happens when you won't keep these days, okay? Now, there's a lot of scriptures, you guys, 104 about trumpets, okay? Um, we'll just take Jeremiah, for instance, okay? See, alarm of war. Remember when Joshua... They were doing the Jericho march seven times, and then he blew the trumpet, and the walls came trump tumbling down. So the trumpets are used to uh, let people know uh, to sound for war or to sound that something's going on. Or there, there's a couple of different reasons why a trumpet is sound. Um, a trumpet is blown. Okay. How long shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? Okay, so you guys, when it talks about um, Feast of Trumpets, okay, it taught, um, these are the, that is the day, that is the season, the day and the time when a lot of these scriptures about the trumpet are going to manifest, okay? Um, but what I really wanted to talk about was these okay so it says that he shall send his angels with the sound of a trumpet and gather his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other matthew 24 31 so let's read this in context okay it says, then shall appear, see, a lot of people, you guys, they think that this is a time, they believe a lot of things about these scriptures, you guys, and I'll tell you this, we're not going to know until it happens, and most of the things how people have thought and taught about how these scriptures are going to look when they manifest, it's a lot of the times, you guys, we're going to see that they're going to manifest in a lot different ways than what people have taught and what they believe, okay? So it says, see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great authority, and he shall send his angels with the sound of a great trumpet, and they shall gather his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves, know that sun, the summer is nigh. Verily, look, look at this, you guys. Verily, I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. So now let's look at these scriptures about the trumpets. For if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself? 
to battle. You see, here's another scripture, you guys. Remember, all these things are going to be fulfilled. 14.8, okay? So it says, now, brethren, if I come to you speaking in tongues, what shall it profit you? So he's talking about, you know, people who come in and speak in tongues and other people don't know what they're talking about unless there's an interpreter there, right? Then what, how is the edifying the church, right? This is what, this is the context of what Paul is talking about, okay? And he says, for if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself to battle? Okay, so this in itself, you guys, has is going to have an interesting fulfillment. But we can see here that the trumpet, right, is known and is used to sound for war, you guys. Okay, that is what this feast of trumpets, you guys, the spirit is going to come upon people and mighty things are going to happen to people and people are going to get taken spiritually, Um they're going to get blessed spiritually, anointed spiritually, right? And, and experience a spiritual elevation. But it's also to tell people that the war is coming, the war against the children of God. And that's what this Feast of Trumpets is about too. So, and here's this scripture, in the moment in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. And the sound and the sound of a trumpet and the voice of the words, which voice that they that heard entreated that the word should not be spoken to them anymore. It's talking about Moses on Mount Sinai. So, and then we have Revelation, right? Of course, this is where all the big ones are, right? I was in the spirit on the Lord's day, and I heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. So the Lord's day, and I heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. Very interesting. The Lord's day and trumpets. After this, you know, and, and in the other scripture, see, it says the Lord's day and then trumpet and see here in what was it, Corinthians we were reading. That in the moment and the twinkling of an eye at the last trump, um, we shall be, uh, wait, it was Matthew. I'm sorry. Yeah, Matthew. It says... And he shall send his angels with the sound of a trumpet and gather his electrons. So this is another time when the word trumpet is used and talking about the son of man and the angels and gathering and all this stuff. I'm telling you guys, Feast of Trumpets is very special and important, you guys. And those who do not accept and keep it the way that the Lord has commanded us, these are the commands of the Lord, then they are going to be cut off from the promises of God, from our people. And a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice I heard, as it were, of a trumpet. Okay? So look at all these scriptures about trumpet. See, and I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of the heaven, saying with a loud voice, woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of three angels, which are yet to sound. See this, you guys? So this is like major stuff. This is preparing for war. That's what I was talking about. All right. Let's read this in context and then we'll wrap this up. The name of the stars Wormwood, and the third part of the waters became Wormwood, and many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. And the fourth angel, now you guys, people can die in different ways. You know what I mean? What gives somebody life on the inside is the spirit. So if that spirit that gives life, that breath of life is taken from them, and then they get filled with an evil spirit, they can still be walking around, you know, like when you see zombie movies and the walking dead, you know what I mean? So 
don't think so near. Let at, really be led by the spirit. And the way that you do that is cultivate and grow your relationship with the Lord. Spend more time fasting and praying. And the fourth angel sounded, and a third part of the sun was smitten, and a third part of the moon, and a third part of the stars. So as the third part of them was darkened, and the day shone not for a third part of it, and the night likewise, and I beheld, and I heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the voices of the trumpet of the three angels which are yet to sound. So um, anyway, guys, let's prepare this feast of trumpets. Let's get ready um, for the Lord and his spirit and um, get ready for the war that is um, going to increase and be waged um, against God's people in a way that has never happened. And this doesn't have to be scary, you guys. If you have the Lord, if you have faith and hope, and you have the spirit of the Lord, that should supersede what you may experience in the attacks and trials and tribulations. Amen. So, and if you're not at that level, then start investing your energy and your time into cultivating and strengthening your relationship with the Lord. I love you guys so much. God bless each and every one of you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ.